Hello, and welcome to the Tutorial Toolbox. My name is Bias, and this is Unity 101, Episode 6. Last time, we added physics by adding we added physics to our concept game by adding a rigid body to our player component well, game object, uh, thus making him able to uh, fall off the edge and collide with uh, colliders. This time we're going to make our player utilize the third axis, the Y axis, by making him able to jump. Uh, thus, making it possible for our game to also have a height element in it. So let's open up Unity, and as you can see, we have our game area here as per usual so um, what we need to do is we need to edit our player controller script so that when the user presses the space bar he will jump uh, the how we do this is let's make a jump section if input dot get uh, key down key code dot space and this is basically how you check if any keyboard key has been pressed down it's input dot get key down key code and then the whatever key you want to use and let's take space there we go all right so once we have this we can we need to do something in order for our player to jump and in order to do this we take our rigid body and we add a force the vector 3 up force and I I've been playing around and found out that 500 is a pretty good value to multiply it with and you can see it can jump maybe you should make it like 250 or something uh, a little bit too little 300 so you can just play around with it however much you want him to jump I want mine to be able to get up and over all right so um, now we can jump but if you there's one thing you might notice if you press space while you're in the air it's just gonna keep on jumping and um, when you just stop doing that he's gonna fall down eventually and he's gonna fall right through the mesh uh, the plane so first of all let's fix the plane thing and it has to do with a mesh collider um, that defaults to the plane it's not that um, it doesn't have any depth so when the force presses the um, you can see when also we go into the wall and stuff here our cube kind of disappears a little bit into the wall and that is because the physics is then trying to push it out but we're still trying to push it in when that happens to the plane there's no depth so it just goes right through so to fix that we simply uh, remove this mesh collider and we add a new physics box collider and make it point 0.5 and push it, position it at point uh, sorry negative point 0.25 and now we have this box collider underneath the plane so that if we have a lot of speed then we won't go through. It'll simply just bounce off. And that's what we want. We don't want to be able to jump infinitely. We only want to be able to jump when we're standing on top of something though. So let's fix that. Inside here the space, let's check if is falling is equal or oh, is falling. Oh sorry. We only want to be able to jump when we're not falling. So we gotta create a pop 
public variable, call it, uh, it's a boolean, call it is falling, set it to false pre default. And then down here, still in a fixed update, but not inside any of the if statements, we set if is falling equal to math f that abs rigid body dot velocity dot y is greater than 0 0.5 f so basically we can also set it to 2 actually so basically what this does is that is that it sets is falling to true whenever our component is moving at a speed greater than 0.2 f. Let's click uh, at our player here. In our script we can see he's not falling. When I jump he's falling. And we can only there is a very small margin. If you keep on uh, jumping, you might be able to hit it, but it's a really small margin. And um, we could increase our uh, what's it called? We could increase or decrease actually the. Uh, how much we allow for our player to fall, but if we go too low, then he might not be able to. This actually seems to be really good, but you can see here while I'm moving around, um, he's it says he's falling sometimes uh, because he reaches speeds greater than uh, this. Point one, so I'm gonna leave it at point two because it didn't seem to be happening there. But yeah, he's able to jump there, and uh, oh shit! <laughs> ah damn it, I fell off the edge. So let's um, let's just let's create a, an empty child ob an empty object, call it platform, and simply uh. Select, uh, click the first one, hold shift, click the last one, and move them inside this uh, platform transform. And let's duplicate it and um, just uh, move it a bit like that. Just so our player has something to jump onto. You might also notice though that he can jump if he's stuck in a wall and that is of course not intended but it's a kind of a side effect to the uh, the way the physics work uh, with the way we have been uh, we have chosen to move our character you know, we're using the transform on our player in order to move and um, thus the uh, updates for um, what's it called the updates uh, physics updates and collision updates and checks and stuff like that aren't as good as if we were to use the rigid body to move but of course we could just like uh, this one use rigid body at force and apply a left or a vector left right or one of these vectors and then move like that but in this concept we're not going to do that because the way f uh, at force works when you move around it uh, it plays differently than this and in this concept it's, it's not really necessary, but of course, it's something you can do, you can add it, uh, and again, this is not a, flit, a fully fledged game, so there will be bugs, and this is just going to be one of them. Um, yep. 
yeah, let's see. Let's see how much time we have left. All right. So we've only used 10 minutes. So we're just gonna add one more thing. We're gonna make this uh, the camera. You can see this. The camera is static right now. We're gonna make the camera follow our player so that when I move up here, it will follow me so that I can still uh, see. Uh, the, the full game, well, the uh, full view of my player. So how do we do this? We actually need to import a package that's called scripts. Uh, we don't need all of them. We only need this uh, smooth follow camera script. Uh, this uh, smooth follow camera script this one and uh, just uh, press import it comes up in standard as it's script camera smooth follow and let's see I just need to figure out if we place it on the camera or we place it on I think we need to place it on the camera let's pull it to the camera so he, he now has this uh, smooth follow script and the target is the player so let's drag him and let's see what happens when I move around the camera follows along now let's just make him jump a little bit higher so let's set it to 400 so that we can uh, reach All right, and you're gonna see that the camera follows our player, and it's a lot nicer to kind of um, play with when you can see everything, and that the camera is um, yeah, that the camera is um, following along. However, I feel that the rotation you see uh, when he jumps down. There's this uh, camera rotation, you can also see up here, around the, uh, the, the x-axis. And uh, I'm just going to remove that uh, by opening up the smooth follow script. And everything that has to do with rotation um, let's see this we shouldn't need and this we shouldn't need and we shouldn't need this one but let's just see what happens Alright, so, so something didn't quite work out the way we wanted there. Let's see if we just remove this, what happens then? Alright, so that's it. So we just need to move, remove the others there. So you only have uh, wanted height, current height, you only damp the height, you only set the position but without the rotation. You set the height, and you always look at the target. So transform to look at target. All right. So now we have a game where you can move around on the x and the z axis, as well as on the y axis by jumping. And you have a camera that's following you around as you go. So. Next time, I know I said that this time we would also add some kind of uh, object to pick up, but we don't have the time to do that right now. So in the next episode, we're going to add objects for our player to collect, and as well as gain score based on it. And then 
it's going to be the end of this concept game and we will move on to a different one where we will be doing some different kind of controls and then in the end after the next concept game we will be creating our own game from scratch so I'm really looking forward to that I'm hoping you guys are too it's been really great if you enjoyed this video and want to be updated with the series and stuff like that then please please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can get updates and um, on news for us as well as uh, it would help us just an enormous amount so thank you guys for watching it's been a pleasure i'll see you guys next time